Yo, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to show you what I did to the vocals that I added to the track that I made in my previous video. If you want to see how I made this track that you see right here on screen, like from scratch, you can go check out that video. But I'm going to show you because I added the vocal to this track when I was making it in the video. I didn't show myself adding a vocal. It was something I did afterwards and, you know, adding arrangement and, you know, some final touches and that kind of thing. And the track is actually out. You can see here it's out on streaming platforms. So you can support your boy by streaming uh, this track to listen to the full version but this is what the track is sounding like with this vocal So that's basically the gist of how the track is sounding. So obviously I, I played at a random spot <laughs> and I, I like how this track really came out. And I think the vocal, the voice or well, the vocal just added a really nice touch to the track, you know, adding a nice depth to it. I think it really did numbers to it. And I'm just going to show you how I processed this vocal. So I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see the wave itself because we're going to focus on that and not everything. So if I go here to the mixer, uh, the, here it is, here it is. So the first thing I did was obviously EQ a little bit. So you can see here I used first, the, I used two EQs. The first EQ I used was just the normal equalizer that's here on the mixer that's right here. I just took out a lot of the lows, just rolled them off just around 90, 90 hertz because we don't need everything, you know, the rest of that. And then I also cut out a lot of the, you know, a lot of the mid frequencies just to kind of cut that out a little bit. And then a little bit of the high frequencies as well. That's what I did. And then another EQ was just basically to just cut out the low frequencies as well and a lot of the high frequencies. So it's, it was almost like, you know, just uh, carving out, just f uh, making the, the, the frequencies focus on exactly where I wanted, wanted them to focus. So I took out around 111 hertz, but it didn't really matter where exactly because the voice itself was well, uh, well recorded. It sounded really good, but I just didn't need a lot of rumble on the voice itself. So that's what I did here. So I'm just going to mute these other you know, these other effects here, because these are the important effects that I want you to take a listen to that I want to show you that are going to really make the difference on this voice. So the next thing I did after this uh, little bit of EQ, what I did is I just added a pitch shifter. So this is how the voice is sounding like right now. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever. And I added this plugin here called Pitch Shifter. You only get this if you have like the latest version of FL Studio. They added this Pitch Shifter plugin. Uh, and I like it because I can use it on the uh, mixer so it's less destructive the way I add, uh, I do this pitch shifting instead of me having to pitch shift the file itself. So I use the voice section here, the voice tab, because it also has a music uh, tab here where you can uh, pitch shift the, like uh, music. Maybe if you are pitch shifting, maybe a certain musical sound like a piano or something like that. But I use the voice because I'm working with a voice here. And I pitched it down three semitones. That's what I did here. So this is what it sounds like with the pitch shifting. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. I thought that three semitones were good enough. I didn't want to make it feel overdone and super weird and robotic, that kind of thing. I just didn't want to do that. That's why I just felt like, you know, three semitones are fine. So I did turn down the pitch on the pitch here and also on the formand here that's what i did and you know and, and I, th I thought that was a really nice spot and uh if i can solo it so i can play it alone it sounds like this listen getting successful whatever you consider successful if and then with the pitch listen, shifter getting successful whatever you consider successful if it's rich whatever i think it sounds good like that and the next thing that I really added that was super cool was I added some delay. You can see here there's some delay here. So I added this uh, delay tape plugin from Arturia. I really love it. It's the Delay Tape 201. I really love this delay. So it added some uh, really nice delays to, you know, add some style and add some bounds to the voice itself. So it sounds like this with some delay. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful. If it's and in context of the track, it sounds like this. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever. 
I think it adds a really nice bounce to it so that, you know, you have a little bit of delay just to color it a little bit because it was hella dry. And this is what it sounds like uh, without. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider success. It feels too forward and it feels too dry. So I added some, you know, some of this delay. And you can see here, I used the preset called King Dubby. I, I, I felt that this preset was super nice for uh, the voice, but as soon as I popped it in, it sounded like this. Listen, getting successful, whatever you can and it was a bit much, so I just had to turn it down by 50%. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever. I thought that it was a good compromise, you know, just to kind of shave down a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the, the delay. I, I thought it was just a good spot. And then afterwards, I added uh, this reverb intensity here also in Arturia plugin that I added right here just to add some reverb to it so what I did is I also added it and I used the preset called infinity listen getting successful whatever you consider successful if it's rich whatever and it's not a lot, it's super subtle. You can see here, the dry wet is, you know, it's it's, it's not all the way up. Like it's super, you know, it's it's, it's just right there by uh, mostly at nine o'clock, you know, and the reverb level is around there by 12 o'clock. It's almost like 50%. And then what I did after still, just to also take down how this effect is adding on, you know, to the, to the, the voice, I just also turned it down like around 50% just to lessen it because I didn't want the vocal the vocal to have a lot of reverb that was too in your face, you know, to kind of drench it and soak it in a lot of reverb. I just wanted to add a little bit of reverb so that you get you can get that, you know, that spatial feeling to, to just add a little bit of something instead of it just being dry. So this is what it sounds like with a little bit of reverb. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever. Listen, getting successful, this is whatever without. you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever. It's not a magic trick. It's not. You can see here, if you look at that, um, those graphics there, you can see that the reverb is working. It's there, but because I just turned it down a little bit, it's not that much. It's there, but it's not that much. But it's just to, you know, a subtle effect that I added just to make sure that the, the voice is not super dry. Because when it sounds dry, it just feels weird and in your face. And I just didn't like it like that. So I just had to process it. And this is my processing. You can let me know down below how you process your vocals and how you process a voice. If you add a voice like this into your tracks as well, I would love to know how you process them. What's your chain? And as you can see here, I did put the delay first and then added the reverb after so you know that's kind of the order of how i put on all the effects here but i think it sounded pretty cool if you want to hear the final track how it sounds in full you can make sure to just check out the link down below and if you want to watch me make this track from scratch you can check out my previous video i also have a link down below as well so you can watch how i produced this track i think it really came out super dope and what i did is you know i, I just chopped out a lot of uh, some of the places and just rearranged it rearranged the you know the voice so that it can and just I can just place it exactly in the places that I wanted it. Not too not too much cuts and not too much going on there. But that's what I just basically did just to complete this track to just give it one final touch to have that you know that really deep vibe you know and that's how it sounds like. So this is what the track sounds like you know with the voice. I think it sounds really cool. Some say this is one of uh, their favorite tracks from me. Let me know what you think down below after you've listened to the track. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining, informative, helpful in any way. If you did, make sure to drop this video a like. If you want to watch more videos that are like this, make sure to check out my other videos. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm X and I'm out. Peace.